that we just went through the very dark part of um <laughs> about halfway through that song I was like I saw all the people standing at the back of the main part of the floor and I was like I can't actually see you I can't see you actually right now. Like this moment, but there have been times there we go. that you are still standing even during the super bummer part of our set. Like, you're amazing. You're like, you're like, I feel the knife going in. I'm anxious. I like the people who have their beers also above their heads. Like, I like, I can, I, can, I just can't imagine. And I like how you're, it makes me think of like when I was like 16 and I would get drunk at my friend Jessica's house and I would, we would put records on her parents' stereo and everyone at one point we'd just be so drunk, all we would be doing basically is like swaying and holding on to each other in front of the speaker. Like we would be like, oh. and like just, I don't know if you should tell that story. Hi. <laughs> 16 seems a little young. I mean, real talk right now with you. I am 29, and, it, and I admit that there there are times when I see 16-year-olds or 14-year-olds at our shows, and I think, my God, when I have a 14-year-old, it is going straight to a teenage prison camp. <laughs> not because I don't think that the 14-year-olds are awesome, but I do not want to deal with that disaster when I'm. I just, and my mom always says to me, she always says that way you're gonna love it and it's gonna be puffy and kind of mean and saying mean things to you and and you still love it and want to feed it so, that's a direct quote but um but i just right now it is just so hard for me to imagine that i just want it to go away until it's like mm, 20. Mm, 22. and then it comes back and it's awesome it's like the awesome it's like an awesome 22 year old kid has a job and doesn't live with me. But before 14, I mean, before 14, before 14, um, sorry, I just got so distracted. It's so sweet that you're so enthusiastic, but it does kind of throw me off my train of thought. At least a little bit. Because I can't tell if you're like, I'm going to shoot you, or if you're like, your mom looks terrific. Like, I don't even know. I started talking about that, except to say that those of you who are standing and yeah! you're doing it so well, we are now entering again the part of the set where people might all want to stand up. You might just feel like you want to get up for a few seconds. Just let the blood flow in the music. 